This is Adam Taxon, main administrator for the, the Daily Back page on Facebook. Uh, here is a great clip uh, which has you know, a lot of relevance to the media today. Uh, it's uh, Glenn Beck speaking on the Thursday, June 8, 2012 program uh, about the Tuesday, June 6 uh, recall election which Scott Walker won in Wisconsin. But the important part is it's a take, it's an elaboration on Piers Morgan of CNN, his basically slamming on the air Debbie uh, Wasserman Schultz, who was his guest. Now, Debbie Wasserman Schultz is, of course, a gift that keeps on giving to us Republicans, and as a Jew myself, she's a particular embarrassment. And uh, frankly, let me just tell you, uh, she could be vulnerable this year. It's going to take a lot of work, but if it's a if it's a landslide for Romney, uh, her opponent is very formidable, Joe Kaufman, and you can find information about him at KaufmanForCongress.com, and the Kaufman part of that is spelled K-A-U-F-M-A-N-E, K-A-U-F-M-A-N, and then for Congress, and uh, he's a real solid candidate, and I encourage people to check it out, because if the tide really continues to turn, Wasserman Schultz could be vulnerable. Who knows? Enjoy the clip. I'm going to play some audio for you from uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, um, and I'm not because not you're not interested um, in this. I mean, well, you're kind of interested, maybe because it's 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 that kind of audio that you listen to. And you're like, this is amazing. This is incredible that they could say it, and and it's on Piers Morgan. And at the end, there's a little treat here. At the end, apparently, Piers finds a moment of sanity on CNN, the English guy that nobody watches. On CNN that nobody watches, says something to a guest that nobody watches that you should hear. It shows you how ridiculous Debbie Wasserman Schultz is that she even inspires Piers Morgan to say, wait a minute, you're not making any sense. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that says something. something. And it shows you, I want you to concentrate on two things. One... What she's saying that she thinks that people still actually believe. I can prove to you that nobody believes these things in two ways afterwards. Nobody's believing this anymore. She still actually believes that people do. And the second thing that I want you to pay attention to is I have no idea. I didn't write it down and I don't remember. I'm riddled with ADD. So here it is. I'll figure it out halfway through. Like that, the president deployed his entire machinery, uh, grassroots machinery on the ground in Wisconsin, 40 offices, more than a million and a half dollars, our neighborhood team leaders and volunteers. He sent his entire machinery out there. We thought there was nobody there, but no. He sent his entire. He didn't come. He couldn't. Well, he yeah, he, no, he couldn't. Not. He was he was picking up the lawnmowers from the other. Right. That was the machine the that machine he sent out. Was the lawn mowing machine. Right. And uh, the grassroots she's talking about right. is that they were clipping the lawn. <laughs> right. The grass was. But he could cut. and he could make. Man, he really wanted to make it there. It was his whole had, lawn crew though. Yeah. He, he sent the was, entire lawn crew. He was thinking about being there, but he had some important mm-hmm. Hollywood stuff, stuff to do. Things going and, on. Uh, he couldn't be there. Mm-hmm. But man, he was all for that. Mayor guy, uh, uh, governor. Was, he's going go for governor. He was a mayor, but he was going. Whatever for he was going for you governor, know. he was going to go for mayorship or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The one that was going to be that evil, to him. the evil dude out there. Yeah, what, that other know, guy. The most mm-hmm. important was, election mm-hmm. until the presidential election. That one. That was that, that one. one. He was there yeah. with his whole machinery, and we put an unprecedented effort of grassroots into this this recall. We came up short. Yeah, stop. Oh. Hold on just a second. First of all, there's two lies there. Um, you know, anybody who's saying that they, you know, they, they didn't put an awful lot of grassroots effort in. They did. They did. But there's two lies wrapped up in one statement. We came up short. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't win the election, but you did so much grassroots uh, activity that the city of Madison, Wisconsin, had a voter turnout of 119% of the voters. It's amazing. That is incredible That's work. That's good grassroots work. See, and you didn't come up short. You came up 19% above impossible. I also <laughs> like the fact, I love the fact that it's grassroots, meaning the people did this all by themselves. This is just spontaneously erupted by the people. But the president sent his entire <laughs> machinery out there. How can you, how do you have it both ways like that? Well, because it's grassroots. Again, okay. it's a lawn clipping all right, service. All right. All right. But at the say, uh, of the ultimate goal, which was to make sure that Governor Walker couldn't uh, 
adopt his extremist policies and continue to hurt middle class and working families. But we did uh, apparently succeed in flipping the, the state senate. The state senate is likely now to be controlled by the Democrats. And so we're going to be able to stop uh, Governor Walker from being able to really continue to pursue those extremist policies. So, uh, so ultimately, uh, we were at least in part successful. And we're, what we demonstrated, peers was that Democrats are not going to just lay down and allow the middle class and working families and workers working to get families. run over when an extremist governor extremist uh, has run them up. Well, like you keep calling him this great extremist who everyone apparently is terrified of and everything else. But stop, the reality stop, stop, stop for a second. Stop for a second. You're what you're about to hear is Piers Morgan actually make a good point. <laughs> yeah. I just I, I have to stop yeah. and say appreciate this moment. Uh -huh. it, it comes once in a lifetime. <laughs> Here it is. Won, he won pretty convincingly. So the only people laying down, it would seem to everybody else, are the Democrats on this. So how are you keeping some kind of weird victory out of all this? Well, there's nothing nice. weird about flipping uh, the, the state Senate. I mean, last year there were recalls of state senators that were put on the ballot. And uh, there were recalls last night, and as a result of those victories, the state Senate has gone from being Republican to very likely being Democrat now. Really? And uh, yeah, really, 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 I'm, I'm certainly not going to call it a victory. Like I said, we right. we lost uh, the the actual recall of the, the governor. Recall, you but well, that's I, I my point. You let, me, ask, let me just jump in there. I mean, that's sure. my point. If you keep calling him an extremist, but you accept that he won. What well, does that say about the people of Wisconsin? Are they all just a says, bunch of mad extremists? No, what, what it says is that voters look at a recall very differently than they look at a straight up election. Oh, stop, and for it, it, oh. stop for a second. Stop for a second. This is the first time a governor has ever had a recall and he won. Yeah, first time ever. So you're right. They do look at a recall much differently. They always lose recalls. It's, it's amazing. Now listen, let me help, let me help CNN out. Okay, before, Seriously, before you lose everything that Ted Turner ever tried to do, and he loses his ranch and his farm and his buffalo, and he loses that grand opportunity to help finance uh, the New World Order uh, through the United Nations, let us help you out. Time Warner, before you've already made the AOL mistake. I mean, I think many of us may have and probably did say, you might want to not throw everything into the people. You might not want to do that. Let me just say, the reason why nobody's watching your crappy network, the reason why nobody is watching MSNBC, the reason why everybody is tuned out now of all news is because everybody knows that's, that you're full of crap. This person is full of crap. Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's politician after politician after politician. Look, we actually are a nation of people who actually care. Do you know that the the number one thing that has been my policy on television um, and radio is I'm not going to waste your time. We try really hard not to waste your time. Television, I've got 41 minutes with you. I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to waste your time. Don't waste my time. That's all that television does is waste our time. You watch it and what? What, what do you get out of that? What are you getting out of that? You're still, you're still, I mean, some people used to watch these things as a sport and, you know, and sit and watch it and then yell at the TV. Who needs that? Yell at your kids. Why are you yelling at the TV? <laughs> For the love of Pete, where do you get out of that? Nothing. I don't want that in my life. 